So guys, I've been holding out on you. I've been waiting for my next time story time with the car man, and I thought of a really good one. <laughs> this is called The Bag Lady. Now that seems like an odd title, but it is what it is. So one day, a long time ago in a land far away, we were at an off-site tent sale. And man, we were so hyped up. There was so much money everywhere that literally everyone we seen must buy a car. So sure enough, a lady comes pulling up in a grocery cart. You heard me right, a grocery cart. And she looks like she should be pushing a grocery cart. Anyway, turns out I just could not help it and everybody's sitting around doing nothing. So, and it's the beginning of the sale and I was like, I'm gonna show everybody that I can sell anybody anything and I'm gonna make her buy it. So sure enough, I go introduce myself and she's like, oh, this car is very pretty. So just for laughs and jokes, I'm like, well, come on, let's roll. So they park her little cart to the side and I have one of the guys watch it and we go for a ride. And it was a 1993 Plymouth Sundance, aqua blue, automatic. It had cruise and tilt and that's it. Hatchback. Great little car, she drives it. And we're about halfway through. I'm like, do you have a driver's license? She says, oh, yeah, 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 I got a driver's license. I'm like, okay, okay. Probably wasn't sure, but whatever. So anyway, we get back, and I'm like, well, look, ma'am, I want to make you drive this car today. Your cart's looking pretty bad over there, and it's time for you to get something new and exciting, you know, to spice up your life. Look good. You know, going to church. Can't be picking up cans in this rusty old go cart or, or grocery cart. She's like, I, you know what? I think I'll buy it. Of course, I about died laughing. I really didn't know what to do from there. So I was like, uh, well, how about let's just do a credit application? She's like, I don't need credit. Okay. Why is that? Do inform me why you're pushing a car and don't need credit to buy a brand new car. Of course, I didn't say that to her. She says, I'm just going to pay cash. I said, well, what bank would this be drawn on? And she said, Bank of Pensacola. I was like, you sure about that okay all right all right so I go up and talk to my sales manager they of course lap me off of the sales desk and anyway as it turns out the lady really is legit she was just crazy as a three dick billy go she really pushed around the cart trying to make even more money but the lady was a multi-millionaire she was just crazy so as it turns out I go ahead and we get in the car and another salesman, I had gotten another customer at this point, another salesman takes her and takes her back to the dealership to do all the paperwork. Shake her hand. And we made, you know, at that time, full pop, whatever that was, probably like $1,200 plus, 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 whatever they, she, whatever we could sell her, she bought and didn't argue about it. So uh, anyway, long story short, she goes to the finance office and the finance office is like, I am not taking a personal check. Period. The end. You go down to the Pensacola Bank uh, and get us a cashier's check that can in no way be canceled. So my boy's like, all right, calls me up. I'm like, all right, all right, let's go do it. So go down to the bank. Sure enough, the bank president comes out of his office to shake this woman's hand and hopes she's having a nice day and completely ignores us in our sexy little suit and ties. But this woman, he's all about whatever she wants. He said, yes, ma'am, and he goes ahead and doesn't even have a question. That check is printed in seconds. Done. And it's, you know, printed out to our dealership. No problem. All right, everybody's happy. Send her back to the dealership with my guy. She goes in, and she pays for it. Hands him the check. No problem. He signs all her stuff. And puts all her paperwork together, puts it in her glove box, tells her have a nice day. And away she goes. We're all happy. High five. Well, about a day later, we went to do the book outs where you clean up the money and the check is gone. No one knows where the check is at. After further review, we figure out that when our finance manager shook her hand and put all the paperwork together, he forgot to take the check away because we were so astounded at the story. So, uh... Basically, he gave her a certificate of origin, already printed out in her name, gave her a receipt that the car is paid for, except for one problem. We gave her all the money back. So yes, that's right. We have a homeless lady riding around in a car 
with a clear title that she has not paid for. Oh my God. Day one, might as well been hell on earth. The dealer was, oh my God, if he'd have put our balls on a wall and shot BBs at him, he'd have done it. But life as it may, week one comes and goes. We are everywhere, man. We are down in the low parts of town. We are in the high parts of town. We're circling the mall, all the towns around it. We're asking everybody, go down to the bank manager, everybody. He can't cancel the check because, you know, it was a period done. He can't do nothing with it. Only the lady who authorized it could, and she is missing in action. Well, anyway, our great sale turns into a horrid affair as the weeks roll on and our new job at the sales department is to go out and look for a homeless lady that should be driving a car instead of driving a shiny new Chrysler. Compliments of. So anyway, long story short, how the story ends is about a month later, out of nowhere, this little car pulls up right up into the showroom, like right up to the glass. Because we had a ramp, that's how we loaded the cars in. But this woman just drives straight up into it as if she's going to pull into it. And she gets out and goes, Hi, um, I was wondering if you guys could help me. I was like, yes, ma'am. Uh, of course, every thought in my mind was, hell yeah, we're going to help you. We'll find out where our check's at. She goes, I have a squeak in my wheel. Can you look at it? I said, absolutely. But first, got to check your paperwork because I think we may have left something in there. She goes, oh my, well, take a look at it. And of course, at this point, there is cans, there is Coke bottles, there is... I can't even tell you what's in this car. So we go digging through it to try to get to the dash. And sure enough, in this envelope is the cashier's check to pay for that car. Luckily, she was an honest bag lady and did not rip us off. But never take things for granted, guys. This is a story from the car man. Anybody can buy a car and you can lose 15 grand in a blink of an eye without paying attention. So pay attention and be nice to everyone. That's your story today. Peace out from the car man. Support your military. Love you guys. See you next time around. Peace out.